Mariner Skipper Scott Service joins us right now. Scott, thanks for your time. And uh, hey, tell the folks uh, how the conversation went with Mr. Brash uh, <laughs> earlier. Uh, when was that? Uh, it was earlier today, yeah. You know, get an opportunity to first talk to, to George Kirby, who I thought had a, a really nice uh, spring training. Yep, for uh, sure. He got better every time he was out there and, and certainly got a bright, bright future ahead of him and, and super excited about where he's headed. But, you know, looking at where we're at and how the guys were performing, where they're at, you know, in their careers right now. They're both young, but, you know, Matt's had a really good spring training. He threw the ball really well again last night, so I had an opportunity to, to tell him he's going to make the ball club. He's going to be our fifth starter this year. I like the way you and Jerry said, hey, so uh, what do you think of your spring? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, uh, you know, you, you got to ask the questions, and you, you let them kind of break it down. Tell, and then, tell and us what he there. said. Tell, tell the fans what he said. Uh, he said, you know, it's it's been okay. He, he's learned a lot, and, you know, maybe didn't have his best stuff last night. And I said, man, you know, that's pretty good stuff. I don't know how good it can get, but it's about 97 miles an hour with a nasty breaking ball. You so, bet you. Uh, I just love his competitiveness. I, I think it really stood out for me. Um, even when he doesn't have his A game, his stuff is so good. He can get back in counts, and last night he was able to navigate through a, the first couple innings where it were a little rocky and then he smoothed out after that and threw the ball great. Hey Scott, I'm, I'm curious listening to that and uh, there's a flip side to it too. You're getting going towards the end of camp and there's going to be a guy or two that probably deserves to make the club but either because of numbers or the situation that they're in they're not going to make it. How difficult are those conversations? Well, they're, they're challenging. You just try to be as honest as you can with, with all of our guys straight up and, and uh, you know they're all going to play. When, if you're still in camp at this point of the spring you will play a role for us this year mm -hmm. at some point. You know there'll be injury, things happen and you call guys up, guys get sent down. So, you know, the group that we have here right now, they're all going to play for us in Seattle at some point, and they'll all play a pivotal role in what we're trying to get accomplished this year. So even though those conversations can be a little challenging, you got to be completely honest. Uh, listen to the players as well if they've got questions and where they're at and give them constructive feedback. Our guys are good that way, and we consistently communicate with them. So there's no real surprises. Getting down towards the end of it, do you have any concerns about your club or where you're at? Well, yeah, you want to stay healthy here through the yeah. last few days, for sure. It's been a different spring, and the fact it's been shorter than normal. But I, I think we're ready to go. You know, the, the last turn for our starters to get through here, hopefully get, you know, those guys up to in the 90 pitch range, um, you know, as we get ready for their first start. So I think our starting pitching is in good shape. It's been a little bit different spring with relievers. You're not going to have time to go back-to-back -back with guys, so we're going to have to watch that a little bit earlier, you know, in the regular season. But we got a couple, probably a couple extra arms with us to cover us up there. We have a couple of outs, Scott. Uh, what's the latest on Kyle Lewis? What's his situation yeah, look like? Kyle, Kyle's coming along. He's feeling much better. He, he's uh, he's running the bases. Uh, he has not been in a, in a real game. He's taken live at bats in, in a controlled situation. But, you know, getting to the point where he can go DH in some minor league games, and then when he gets on base, stay in the game, run the bases, and then see how that goes and progressing into, you know, some outfield play and whatnot. But uh, he came in my office a couple days ago. He said, Skip, I'm feeling great. I'm going to start pushing a little bit more. So it, it's all good. Boy, that's, that's terrific news. Uh, Billy Hamilton, last thing. Billy Hamilton, what an ad. What a catch last night. Phenomenal catch. Uh, you know, it's, it's so hard to make those type of timing plays. And just the fact that he's so fast, he got back to the wall in time to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, and, and even in the, in the last inning, you know, he almost caught that pop of yep. that, that Winker loss. And he's got that kind of speed. So, you know, he's, he's a fun guy to watch, certainly, you know, on the bases and in the outfield. And, you know, we'll see how it plays out for his chances here. That's what we're making at camp. All right, Scott, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Uh, you bet.